I hope everyone is taking notice that Giants quarterback Daniel Jones is actually good. Enough of the old rhetoric that he stinks, stiff, turnover prone. Slowly but surely, he is turning around that conversation and changing the narrative, which is difficult to do. For the third time in his career, Jones was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week after the Giants' victory over the Jaguars. He accounted for over 300 yards of offense with two touchdowns. He entered a pressure packed year as the Giants declined, picking up his fifth year option before the season, faced an uncertain future with Big Blue and the NFL. This year, he has thrown for over 1,200 yards through the air. Six touchdowns, two picks, ran for 343 more with three more scores. He has shown his dual threat capabilities and his athleticism. He has shown his leadership as well, and the Giants are actually winning. They're 6-1, and one, and he has led the Giants to five come-from-behind wins. Not to mention he's thrown to a receiving core where the leading receiver as we speak right now is the great Richie James. He's not great. All those concerns that he had at Jones have not been answered, and he needs to continue to prove that he is just not a getting off to a hot start. But if you are looking for growth from Jones, he has shown it. He's not a bust. He can actually play football and play it at a pretty high level. He actually has a coaching staff that knows how to make use of his ability and play to his strengths as a football player and a quarterback. And you're watching a player develop right before your very eyes. You should be excited, Giants fans, because you might have found a quarterback, a franchise quarterback, where you least expected it. It all looks different this year for Big Blue, and so does Daniel Jones. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.